Hello, I'm David Feller, Director of Product Management for DVDO, and I want to show you around uh, one of our very latest products. Uh, we call it the DVDO AV Lab TPG, and TPG stands for Test Pattern Generator. This is, in fact, a full 4K, which is the new ultra high definition HDMI 2.0 standard um, uh, test pattern generator. So, this will put out full 4K test patterns both uh, visual patterns like color bars and others that help you set up a display, but it also will connect to a computer and using some attached software, there's a number of packages out there, for instance, the SpectraCal Calman software or the ChromaPure, uh, both work very well with this product to dynamically generate test patterns so you can actually do calibration as well. So that's in fact why you would buy one of these is uh, if you're a, a professional installer, uh, either in the commercial or the consumer space, and you're beginning to put in 4K sets, whether it's flat screens or projectors or uh, they don't have 4K CRT tubes, but you get the idea. If there are new 4K sets that you're installing, you need something reliable to put out a, a pure color and some very specific test patterns that help you set up that display and help you calibrate that display. So uh, we've come out with this device, very portable, uh, very rugged, so a full metal case. Uh, both HDMI input and output so we can do pass through. It has a dedicated infrared remote control that lets you get very, very quickly to patterns. Uh, so you can get to a, a class of patterns and then page within that class because we've got almost 100 patterns built in. So we tried to give you a very simple way to get to what you want very quickly. Um, but it also, again, will, will work in conjunction with attached software to generate dynamic um, test patterns in any color that the software asks for. So those few things together, portability, 4K, USB powered, so literally just a single cable either to your computer or a TV, uh, you don't have to drag another cable over uh, to power it is very important. Um, so those, that set of things make this really unique in the industry and something new. So let me give you a quick tour uh, of what this thing does and a few of the, the initial patterns. And then in a later video, we'll actually go through a little bit of a, a color calibration so you can see how it works in conjunction with software. So first of all, TVs very frequently come from the store in strange modes, in, in modes that uh, are very appealing if you walk into the store to get you to choose that TV. Um, but when you get home and you watch a real video, very frequently it's you know, it's not quite right. The colors are off, the brightness is off, you miss detail and high or low. And there's some very simple ways uh, to set that up if you have a, a product that'll put out the, the right kind of test patterns. And um, this is a really good example. This happens to be an off the shelf uh, TV. This is a 1080p TV. Although again, our product will do up to 4K. I'm gonna show you today on uh, 1080p. So if we look at the color bars, it may be hard to tell in the video, but they're, they're just not quite right. The whites aren't really white. The black's not really black. Um, it, it's the wrong shape. There's, there's just some things that are obviously wrong. So um, the first thing we can do is we can go to some test patterns and say, oh, well, here's one for frame and geometry. And this one is specifically designed to see if you're overscanning. So in this particular case, there's actually a white line all the way around the edge that you can't see at all. Well, that means I'm in the wrong mode on the TV. That's an, always a good place to start. Usually that says something like ratio or overscan. Uh, and it's just in a standard 16 by nine, that's fine. So you can page through them real quick here. You can begin to see the line and the arrows. And generally what you do is you go through each one and see if, well, there's a, the old four by three, that's no good because that won't be good for high def. Uh, zoom isn't good, I've completely lost all the arrows. So on this particular TV, the best one is this one called Just Scan. So I at least get all but one pixel. You can just begin to see the beginning of the arrow and, and the line on that one. So that's a good place to start. So let's get out of that. Now let's take a look at brightness and contrast. So that's always a fun one to see if the set is set properly. Well, wow, there's two or three things here. One is this is supposed to be white. This is clearly a very bluish color and that's the way a lot of sets come uh, you know, from the store. Um, and the brightness and contrast are wrong. This is a pluge pattern. I'll, sh I'll show you in a minute what this means. But again, this should be black and anything under 15, I shouldn't see it all. Uh, and I'll explain that in just a second. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna go through and we're gonna get rid of the special store color that is uh, frequently set. In fact, it, see it's set to vivid and that's something that you, you get from the store so that you come home with something you really like. So let's choose one that we can adjust. ISF Expert is built into this TV. That gives us a lot of control. Uh, 
Now let's do brightness and contrast. Let me show you how to set brightness and contrast. We'll only do a couple of these. Let's start with brightness. So this is called a pluge pattern. And the way this works, um, I'm using the remote control to change the test pattern in the background to, I want, it, I want the pluge pattern that has 15 on it. Um, so there's one through 14 and there's 15, 16. So what I want is to adjust the brightness so that all of the squares, and I'll, we'll start with a black one, all of these squares become invisible because the TV should only display between 16 and 235. 16 on low end, 235 on the high end if you're in uh, YCBCR uh, limited range mode. So we'll adjust the brightness until these go, well, they went away really, really fast. You can see them start to go away. We don't want to see any of these. So let's go to the next pattern with the 15 on it. See, I can see these squares. That's about right. I can just see 16. I can't see any of the rest. So now we have brightness set. Let's do contrast. So contrast is code for the high end. So what we want is, is 235 to be visible, but none of the rest. So we'll start cranking it up until these things start to disappear. There, they went away. Let's go to the next one where 235 is. And we'll crank up until all we see is 235, which is... Yeah, about there. Now, interesting there, as they go away, you can see the square around it, even though the color is inside. That's a hint that the sharpness is adjusted improperly. So let's go down to sharpness. We actually have a very special pattern just for sharpness. And I'm going to show you that one. Let's see if we can find it. There it is. Ah, there you go. So sharpness, these are single pixel wide black and white lines. But what you actually see here is the black with a white halo around it. So um, in this particular case, what we're going to do is we're going to, so this one is vertical sharpness. So let's go to vertical sharpness and we're going to start cranking that down until all we see is the black line. Because the, what we want is the TV to re reproduce just the black line with no halo around it. And look at there how far off that is coming from the factory. And so that's vertical. Now let's do horizontal, same thing. We'll start cranking that down until what we see is just the black line. And so they're about the same place, about 19. So now we've got at least a very basic thing set up for this TV where sharpness is good, both contrast, which is the high end of white, is in the right place. So why do you do this? Well. If you don't have the white set in the right place and the movie says, I want a white part of the screen and it puts out 235 as the number for white, um, if, if this is clipping, you could lose detail on the high end. And likewise, on the low end, if you're looking at black, if you have this adjusted improperly, then when something asks, when the movie asks for black, what you don't want is gray to show up. So now we have the brightness and contrast set up. We have sharpness set up. We've got overscan set up. In just a few minutes, we've gotten halfway there to a really decent looking picture. Um, we haven't done color calibration. That's a whole nother uh, story. But all of a sudden now, the bars pop out at you. They really look right. The, uh, uh, the edges are smooth. You don't get ringing on the edges. So what that tells me is when I put a movie on, it's going it, it, to, at least I'm going to see the high end. I'm going to see the low end. It's going to be adjusted right, uh, like the uh, director of that movie intended it uh, to be seen in your home. Now, we, we still have some work to do on colors because the colors are a little off, but that's, that's a whole other level that requires some software. But with this product, uh, in just a few minutes of time, you can at least get to uh, a basic adjustment for the TV that's now watchable and not what's made in the store. So that's just a real quick overview, and you'll notice that during this thing, I, I never really connected it to the computer, but I've been using the remote control. I'll show you one more thing of the product. It has a uh, full on-screen display built in. So I can, I can change, uh, what am I transmitting? 1080p, anywhere from VGA, actually, it'll do computer resolutions, all the way up to the 4K resolutions, 4K uh, 24, 25, 30, 60. So you can choose uh, what you want. You can also choose the color space. If you understand the details, the RGB is generally what computers and PCs use. It's a, a wider range, uh, uh, brightness and color space. Uh, YCBCR uh, represented here as YC is what most uh, video systems use. 
Um, and we also can do deep color. So uh, most systems really are at 8-bit, but if your system supports deep color all the way up to 12-bit, you can actually do the adjustments and the calibration in full deep color, and it gives you just a little bit more accuracy. Um, test patterns can be chosen, again, from the remote control, from the computer, or you can actually go here and choose them by name. And we even give you a little bit of hint here as to uh, you know, what the test pattern does and how you use it. Uh, so let's just go through just a few of those real quick that are built in. So obviously we've got color bars. This one is frame rate. Uh, in some circles that's called jutter, and it just makes sure that the uh, device that's putting out a particular frame rate is fully compatible with your TV. If you look at these horizontal line and vertical line, uh, this is one pixel of black, or one line of black, one line of white, one line of black. And so if you get really close, you can see very quickly, is the TV handling that resolution? Is it uh, clumping them together? Do you get bleeds? So it's a really good test of resolution. Um, one pixel uh, checkerboard sets every other pixel, both horizontally and vertically. And then we have the pluge patterns, as well as a traditional brightness contrast pattern. So you can do the same thing setting brightness and contrast here that uh, we did with these pluge patterns. The frame and geometry is used to determine whether you're scanning, over scanning, under scanning. And then we've got some that tell you the, the capability of the TV, like frequency sweep and uh, sharpness. We used sharpness. These checkerboard patterns are, are generally used to uh, measure the overall capability of the TV. How well can it distinguish between black and white? We'll get into that in the uh, color patterns. But these are generally used by reviewers to, to tell you how good the TV is at, at different places on the screen. And then, of course, these other patterns are the, the kind that are dynamically generated by a computer, but we, we give the ability to call them up uh, directly. Most of the time, the computer calls it up in a window instead of being full screen. Uh, again, we'll get into that later. And there's also some uh, traditional patterns used when you're setting up uh, video projectors to do focus, because very frequently, uh, uh, you know, you, you may get something focused properly in the middle, but it's a little off at the edge. So you want something that gives you really fine detail uh, at, at all places on screen. Gray ramp is a good one that tells you the TV's two or three things. It tells you is, is your white balance linear across luminance? And if it's not, what you see is color shift as you go from uh, dark to bright. Uh, maybe part of this looks green, part of it looks blue. And in that case, what it tells you is uh, you need to do color calibration. You need to do uh, color management. Uh, color bars are very handy. This particular one is very useful for setting both the uh, uh, color and, it depends on the TV, some say tent or hue. Um, generally what you do is you use a filter. This particular one has red, green, and blue. You put it on the color bar and you look through the blue and you adjust uh, the color and the hue, if you will. It depends on what the TV uh, uh, says in its menu so that the blues go away. And then you look through the red one uh, to make sure the red and the magenta dissolve into each other. So that's, that's a, another basic way to set up your TV. So those are some of the built-in test patterns. Uh, and, and again, we'll show you shortly how to do uh, color calibration. That's a really quick tour of, of AD Lab. Why would you buy it? Who would buy it? And in fact, uh, a, a very quick way to do a, a simple setup. Thanks.